Michael Bisping, and Yoel Romero. crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this so both guys landing as well here good action early well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice job by Ro Oh! Oh! working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is the jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach. Whoa! with the straight right. Oh, how about a huge kick landed? Whoa! Come on, let's go do something. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Bisping's able to transition back to side control now. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these tricks. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. Oh, you don't. 
don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Second round underway. Kick to the body by Romero. Plus right hand is true. Nice sneaky head kick. Big fall from plus land. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Now he touches him with the left. to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael the Cat. 